Hello rainbows, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day. This has been a long time in the making. I should have done this a long time ago, but hey, we're doing it now, so that's all that matters. I put up posts on my Instagram, my Facebook, also on my YouTube channel here, asking you guys to choose my hair color. I gave you guys four options and we let the voting begin. This was probably like easy six months ago. It's crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Let's just have a look at my hair at the moment. Hasn't been like this for long. Only like a week or so ago, my hair was like this. Mm-hmm, I know, I know. So I have obviously had to do some prep to my hair to get it ready for the next stage. I am using Arctic Fox hair color. I've never used their colors before, but you guys have been recommending them to me four years. Funny story, I actually did purchase some of these from Beautopia online, then, like a week or so after they'd arrived, uh, Butopia contacted me and asked if I would like to try out their Arctic Fox range and become an ambassador for them. And I was like, oh my God, like perfect timing. <laughs> so some of these products I purchased myself, the others have been sent to me by Butopia. They were generous enough to give you a discount code for Arctic Fox. You guys get 10% off. It is Jade Madden 10. They are the main wholesaler for Arctic Fox here in Australia. And you guys can get it cheaper with a discount code. Yes. So we can't really do the tutorial without revealing what you guys picked. Okay, so let's get into the tallying. This is the image that I showed you guys and asked you to vote for. Four different choices. I broke it down. I had polls on Instagram. I had polls on Facebook. I asked you guys here on my YouTube community as well. So there was well over 2,000 votes for this baby. It was craziness, craziness on a stick. So let's tally them up. In fourth place was number two, the Smoky Silver with 255 votes. In third place was number four, the Pink Root Melt with 420 votes. So that leaves two left between number one and number three. So, second place, drum roll. Second place with 721 votes. This was really close. Second place, 721 votes. First place had 792 votes. So very, very close. So second place goes to number three, meaning that the winning look is number one. Oh my gosh. So you guys know the image that I am going to try and recreate. If you guys know who created that original look, please let me know because I have no idea who did it. I want to be able to obviously credit them. So yeah. Just to let you guys know, I do see a watermark on this image. However, I've zoomed in as much as I can. It's blurry, I can't quite make it out. I've tried to find my original screenshot from this, can't find it. So yeah, please tag me if you guys know who they are so I can add in a credit in the description and pin a comment and all that jazz. Thank you. <laughs> so judging by that photo, there is a bit of a, like a, a root smudge. There is a bit of a false regrowth. So a darker root than fading to like the pastel purpley, pinky hues that you guys can see. So I'm obviously going to go in first and do the roots first. So I have already shampooed my hair, no conditioner, shampoo, towel dry. My hair is an absolute mess. Very, very naughty. Now, before we start, let me just say that this first original color didn't quite go to plan. I explain it a little bit more afterwards but i still wanted to show you guys because if you guys want a more intense bright color then this is how you do it so this is basically two kind of tutorials in one in a way um so i'm still going to share the mixations with you all that jazz i'll have everything written down in the description box below for you guys as well but i wanted to get this as close to the original picture as i possibly could as i said i explain this more later so stay tuned <laughs> So let's do this. For root color, I used the Arctic Fox Diluter mixed with some Transylvania for the roots. Now I know Transylvania is more of a blue color. It's not like the, the pure gray that was 
pictured in this image, but I'm doing the best I can with what I've got. I basically went in and applied this all over my regrowth, so basically an inch or so um, all throughout my whole head. I, As I said, I will have the mixations down in the description box below for you guys. So for the next colours, I did do two colours. So firstly, I went in with some Diluta, went in with Purple Rain and then a little hint of Pink Virgin as well. For the other pinky kind of colour, I went in with the diluter and pink virgin on its own and that is what you have I basically applied that all over my head mainly focusing on the purple then some areas I did drag the pink color throughout the ends it was a incredibly beautiful color I absolutely loved how it turned out I as you will soon here it wasn't pastel enough it wasn't true to the image enough and I wanted to get it as close as I possibly could for you guys I do know that once you've mixed up these colors you can apply them on a piece of paper and that gives you a guideline of what the colors will look like so I I definitely did do that with these colors. I had worked out all my formulas prior to doing the video. However, I'm so used to colors like not being that pigmented. So I'm so used to seeing the color on a true white piece of paper, knowing my hair isn't a true white piece of paper. So I always kind of bump up the pigment just to kind of compensate for that. So that is what I did in this video and it just turns out that Arctic Fox is incredibly pigmented and I was just blown away and not prepared for that. Hi. So I'm going to be the first one to admit the first color did not go as planned. It was way too bright. Um, I should have actually shown you some footage. I did take some photos, but considering I'm really trying to recreate the look that you guys did, I'm definitely not saying I didn't love the first color because it was amazing. Like I am so impressed at how pigmented Arctic Fox is. Like first time using it, holy balls, wow, wow. But because I'm trying to recreate this photo for you guys and I want to get it as you know close as possible I'm like it's not gonna it's not good enough and I'm such a perfectionist I decided to do a little bit of a bleach bath remove the Arctic Fox color except for the regrowth but remove all the ends color I do have a tutorial on how to do that I'll link it for you guys down below but now we're gonna do take two I'm gonna do more washing in the background I'm gonna do more of a pastel version so yeah let's let's do it all right, rainbows, round two, we are going back in with a whole heap of the Arctic Mist Diluter. Then I'm going to go in with Girls Night. Now, I do apologize for these bottles not looking the cleanest because I did also color my hair extensions and then have to bleach them back out. Um, so I do apologize, they don't look that great, but that's still fine. So I went in with a whole heap of Girls Night, then some purple rain and mix that up and then that is my color I made it a ton more pastel to the point where I didn't actually think it was going to cover my own hair and yeah we'll just see how that one goes then for the pink I did exactly the same a whole heap of the diluter and then a tiny dash of pink virgin now I also did mix up a little bit of a more pastel kind of root color just to help with the transition so what I did is the Diluta, I did some Girls Night and I did a little bit of Transylvania because I didn't get rid of most of my root colour but I got rid of like up to the root colour I just wanted something to help it kind of blur and blend out that a little bit more so let's do this I first went in with that root colour not directly onto my roots but just a little bit further back and just down a little bit further to help get rid of any unevenness Then I basically went in with the two colors exactly the same as I did before. Do mostly kind of the purple, add some pink in throughout the ends, add some sections that were all pink. And then I combed it through really well, tried to make sure I got it as even and saturated as I possibly could.
Righty Rainbows. Hair is done. I haven't styled it as of yet because I would like to put my extensions in and show you guys how that looks. But I did obviously want to show you guys without extensions so you can get the full effect. Oh my God, it turned out so freaking amazing. I am so proud of myself. I know that the roots are not quite the gray kind of color as the photo there are a little bit more blue hued, but I actually think it looks really, really good. And I think the great thing about this is as it fades, it's just going to look amazing because there's so many different kind of tones and different variations in here that it's just going to really work very well as it fades out. So, oh, Loving it. All right, I will put my extensions in and we'll go from there. <laughs> All right, rainbows. So this is how it looks with my hair extensions clipped in. I just feel longer hair. When you've got colorful hair, it just makes it so much more magical in a way. Absolutely love how it's turned out. Oh, I just think it's just beautiful and as I said, magical and oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. I am incredibly impressed with Arctic Fox. Oh my gosh, that stuff is pigmented. Normally, when you see like a pastel-y kind of shade, I'm like, oh, that's not gonna cover, like that's not gonna be bright enough. Hence the reason why I made my first color a little bit brighter, thinking it wasn't gonna show up on my hair, because I had a fair bit of yellow in my hair. But oh my gosh, it did. So even this really diluted version still shows up really, really well. Like I'm just so impressed with the colors and with how it looks. My hair feels like silk. It feels so incredibly soft and healthy and shiny. Oh my gosh. So like I said, I do have a discount code for Butopia to get 10% off. I will link it down in the description box below for you guys. So head over there if you're like a colorful rainbow fairy like myself and you're wanting to try new colors. Like I honestly, out of all of the colors I've used, out of the many years that I've been doing crazy colors to my hair, Arctic Fox honestly is like the best that I've used so far. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, rainbows. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs> Bye.